How's it going Magic here? Hope you've had a perfect start to your day and in today's video we're going to be jumping into the Outer Worlds. So if you do like this video make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing but without any further ado let's get into this. I will try and be as quiet as I can through these cutscenes but I will leave timestamps down below if you want to skip ahead and just get straight into the gameplay. The only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Right, okay, so I guess we choose some attributes now. So, normally I do go with, you know, like strength and stuff, but I think I'm gonna try with some like intelligence and perception sort of things I'm gonna go really high, I'm gonna go high with intelligence charm, cause that'll get as good in you know the first parts of the game I'm guessing and perception, good now perception on high, so high 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 then oh that's it yeah I think that'll do so we'll try some well, melee. I pay to see you challenge the chairman to fisticuffs. Well, I've got one point available. Um, and I'll we'll go with that as well. That silver tongue to frostbite. Right, what are these? Attribute bonus. Let's have just have a quick look at these. So I think we're probably best off going with medical Junior as well. Blade. Oh, morphine dispenser. All right, time to create a character. Yeah, so I normally go with like you know the just the generic kind of guy, I guess. So. I'm not really sure. Um, we'll go with this one. Yeah, we'll go with this guy. I'm guessing we'll just keep everything else the same. Yeah, we'll change his hair though. Any better styles? Um, I, mean, I guess we'll go with that one. Oh, that one will do. What colour? Eh, let's be a bit creative, we'll go with pink. Oh, purpley pink, I guess. Features, no, we don't want no makeup. Any scars? Make it look a little bit more badass. There we go. Yeah, that looks like it'll do. So I'll just quickly check these. So, yeah, intelligence, perception high, and charm high. And we've got plus one medical. So, yeah, that'll do. We can always upgrade them, you know, while we're in the game anyway. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Not 
likely bootlickers. Ugh. Initiate skip jump. Alright, Terra 2. Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down 25%. Skip <sighs> drive. Shit. There you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. 70 years? Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Are you sure? I used right? the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course. Like a fair but trade, I guess. Has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be. Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah. There you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing, gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. It's a bit annoying now that my mouse icon doesn't disappear like mouse. Grim. No sense in letting his ship go to waste. Mm. What an idiot. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Pretty Shame good looking game, to be fair. Squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Yeah, I already figured the sprint bit out. Same in every other game. Well, mostly. Ooh. While sneaking, use tall grass, rocks, and other cover to hide from enemies. Oh, well, that went off a bit too quick. But yeah, we get it. Alright, so that awareness meter, so. If that reaches the top, they'll see me pretty much. Oh, voice. Hide in the grass for a minute. Alright. Get down here. I think we're away from them. Oh, what is that? Whoa! What is happening? Easy now. You've been frozen oh, that's awesome. for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Ah! 
Oh yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Um, that's what happened to him first. We were out of so control. I, don't know who he is. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Um. Tell that one. Spacer's choice policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two completely different properties of matter. Unless I'm dead, I'm contractually obligated to attend to my post. I will report that illegally grounded spacecraft if it is the last thing I do. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? I've got a better idea. Give me a gun and I'll go get help. Yeah, we'll try that one. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. That does not sound promising at all. Alright, I'll leave you for now, because we've got the gun off you, that's all we needed you for. Oh, we'll take some of these. I really didn't think that persuade option were going to work, but I guess it did. Oh, weird. What in the hell? This... All right, okay. Well, basically, we've got time control. How do we activate it? Oh, Q. Oh, my aim's so bad. I'm just gonna loot everything I possibly can, like I do in literally every game I play. Just pick up everything, even if I don't know what it is, I just try and pick it up. Oh, so he's got nothing on him. Alright, two more down here. Let's try and get a bit closer to him. Ah, well, I thought that had one shot him. Wait a Got him. And I know there's one more up there. Um, weapon management. So yeah, basically you're saying that you can have up to four weapons on there. Which is pretty good. Alright, okay. So, let's go back on his inventory. Put that up there. And now we've got a melee weapon. Good. Oh, that does some damage. That's good. Prefer that to the gun, to be fair. At least I can't miss with that if I'm close enough. I need to stop jumping off things because I'm going to kill myself. Yeah, probably a good idea. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. You're oh, yeah. pulling my limb. I, I mean, yeah, of course. Marauders. Bunch of addle brain derelicts. I could round them up all by myself. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Um, your space is just card back down from a challenge. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But... Seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Alright, okay. Let's go kill these then. Yeah. 
Yeah, my aim is so bad it's unreal. I even miss with a sword. Um, is that all of them? I'm sure there's one here. Oh, that must be him. I don't even know what I'm picking up off half of these. I'm just picking it up. Right, let's get on this ship. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Okay. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Hmm. I guess that didn't work. Uh, you realize we're still on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I need to get the ship into the air. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? <laughs> really easy. Um. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. Just change I see my name. Your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. I like it how they change the music as well to make it sound a little bit bad. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Yes, Ada, I got it, thanks. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Try my best. Ooh, new skill point. See what we can do. Yeah, skill improvements. Okay. So I like the swords, so I think yeah we'll increase that to twenty. We'll increase his guns as well, cause my aim's appalling. So I mean we've already got um dialogue like persuade and stuff pretty high and medical. Well not pretty high, but yeah that's not bad. So yeah, I think we'll do that one for now. Melee power attacks, so hold and it'll charge it up, cool. So perks. Um, I think, yeah, so, I think we'll just go for the health straight away. We'll need it in these earlier levels, so I don't think we'll have much armour on. Right. Say, oh. this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Brilliant. Um, let's lie. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. These guys really have no clue, do they? You can just tell them the fakest lie possible. And they'll be like, oh yeah, okay, okay, we'll do that, yeah. That's mad. 
So yeah, let's get to the town leader in Edgewater then I guess. It's not too far away. Oh, some more marauders. Try and take these out from here. Yeah, you won't just run at you, would you? You'd like get down and hide. Same sword, has he got anything else on him? This one? Oh yeah, that's a med kit. Take them. Many of them as we can, we'll take. Um, can we just go straight over? Well, game probably wants you to go through here, so there might be like a chest or something along those lines down here, so I guess we'll figure that out first. Oh, I was wrong. That way would have made a lot more sense. Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? Over there. Right, Edgewater. There we go. Made it. So we're going to go get to the town leader. So let's figure out how to get up there. Well, over there, should I say. Wouldn't surprise me if it were up somewhere like that, though. Or that. In here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Pretty straightforward. Every eleme elevator song was ever made. The grease monkey Argo? Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. You must be the town boss. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Right, my ne my ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Yeah. Only regulator we've got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Let's hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? So, we both know that they're going away. I'm not there. entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. there the go. people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Okay, I'll do that. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb. But I cannot deny that she is talented, and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Yeah, why not? Great! I got my wrenches, and diagnosticators, and hairpins, and engine tape, so... I'm all set! Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Alright, let's get going then. 
companions, I'm guessing you all know what a companion is in games, but feel free to pause that if you want to read it. Right, so let's get on with this then. Okay. Hey, mister, can we talk? Right. Sorry. You got a minute? Yeah. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. Um... Guess we'll go with this one. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big spacer's choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Okay, I don't know what the vicar's got to do with any of this, but... Okay, guess we'll, Thanks, mister. we'll see what he's got to say. I just think when you got to make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Fair enough. Right, okay, so, um... Let's go see the vicar then, I guess. I have no idea why I've got to go see the vicar when... Well, I guess we'll I've find out. Weird in here. It's too clean. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic! Vicar Maximilian de Soto, at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. He'll just throw her under the bus. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked her to do? Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. So, what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. And why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Okay, I guess we'll find the book if we're after. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? I'll look for your book. Yeah, if we get Thank paid for it as well. Bonus. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Right, okay. 
so your journal yeah I think yeah because we normally just jump straight into the story quests and into all these but um let's go try and find this book for the vicar and we can always jump back on and get back into the main mission whenever we want okay not too far away Let's loot what we can while we're here won't mind a new gun like a sniper or you know, like some sort of assault rifle I mean this pistol's alright for now but I'm sure we're gonna meet some tougher enemies soon So it's just over there. Get that book and then we'll head back and go out to do the main mission and see what we need to do with the deserters. Yeah, I've got a feeling there's always two sides to a story anyway, so probably a reason on the left. Oh, wait a minute. That Marada, yeah. Blow that up. Here we go. There we go. That one. That one's a big one. Okay, take him out. There we go, all gone. Ooh, light machine gun. Awesome. Put that on. Hey, that's better. Take all the ammo as well. What a salt rifle. It's getting better and better, isn't it? Search all these houses, see what we can find. Oh, go in here. Right, okay, so that's stashed away in a river somewhere. Well, a cave near a river. Knew it wouldn't be straightforward as just going and grabbing it. Right. Let's get out of here then. And back down there. I don't know if there's any vehicles in this game. I mean, it would be useful if there was. Uh, let's let's actually increase his ranged as much as he can. And no, I think we'll just do range for now. So we've got his, you know, intelligence and perception and stuff like that up. Right, okay, yeah. So, depending on where you hit them, I guess it does better critical damage and stuff. Which is pretty cool. Cool. Here we go. If I shoot him in the leg. Oh, cool. Oh, there's no melee button, is there? Oh, that's, that's pretty good, actually. Like, kind of crippled him. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's a neat feature. You don't really see that in most games. I mean, you do, but it's mainly on you rather than the enemy. Like in Fallout and stuff, you get like crippled limbs. But you never can cripple enemy limbs, really. Or if you shoot them in the face, they go blind as well. All of them, or just some more? Yeah, that's a lot. Right, okay. I don't know how many of them pistols I've got, but I keep picking them up. Oh, we're here. Okay, not too bad. Please just be straightforward and be able to just pick it up. Oh, what's that? That mine? Oh, that's a mine. 
Oh, that'd be nice to pick up. Not really not. Criminal activities. Trespassing, lock picking, hacking and murder are all considered illegal activities. Well, no kidding. And are frowned upon by societies. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in those activities without consequences. Nice. Oh, revolver. Um, yeah, let, let's try that out. Wow, I've got a lot of them. See if we can sell them somewhere. Get some money for them. Okay, so we've got the book. Let's take that back to him. So I'll run there, and I'll see you there in about a second. Right, okay, so here, let's go give him the book. Let's see how much money we get for it. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this French? I can't fucking read French. It's a law forsaken <laughs> joke is what it is. French. Ha. I was so high and mighty preaching to the yokels about following the plan while fighting it at every turn. Okay, I really didn't expect that at all. Well, uh, yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Fair enough. Please. As if my life should have no greater meaning than proselytizing to a bunch of feeble-minded wretches. Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aetherwave program. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Um... Should relate him on his crew or not? Okay, yeah, I mean we'll go for it. Certainly. Can always kick him off later, I, I guess. I already gave you most of my money, but I can offer you free spiritual counseling, really, um... and I'd be happy to watch your back. I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Yeah, let's go. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery. And to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain. Whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. So we've got a new companion, cool. So yeah, so I think that'll do it for this episode. I guess on the next one we'll actually do the story mission and you know redirect the power and find the thing that they needed for the ship. But leave it there. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Make sure you subscribed. See you all in the next video.